Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, today I am coming at you with my list of top 12 favorites at the Miss Supranational 2022 sashing ceremony. Now I know this is old news, this happened already and I should have got a video out as soon as possible but I've been dealing with some personal stuff. I know it's no excuse, we still have to keep up the professionalism. But still, um, there were some incredible dresses and for this video I am specifically going to be focusing on these women's looks, their dresses, you know, whether or not they were able to keep my attention as they were receiving their sash. You know, it's a bit of a frivolous video to be honest, doesn't really mean anything, but I like to talk about the fashion and the beauty of these women. I know in pageantry we are often dissuaded from talking about the physical beauty of the women competing and rightfully so i mean pageantry has moved away from that somewhat but i do still think that you know credit give credit where credit is due basically when it comes to women who take such good care to be well represented and to look absolutely drop dead gorgeous so without further ado the first woman who i thought looked absolutely stunning was belgium now when it comes to belgium this woman is absolutely gorgeous i loved the color of her dress i thought that her hair makeup per was perfect basically and her dress's color to me just suited her so beautifully now the dress itself the dress itself was a little bit 2013 metric farewell for me. I'm not going to lie, but I still think that she deserves a place on this list just because she is such a magnificently stunning woman and that color just absolutely complimented her so, so well. The second woman who I thought absolutely killed it was India. Oh my gosh, Ritika absolutely hit this out of the park i loved everything about her outfit this garment obviously was very much inspired by indian culture um it's very much modeled modeled on like an indian type of garment and i just think the specific color of gold that was used absolutely contrasted beautifully against her dark hair and then also i love the texture of the garment that she's wearing itself it was absolutely stunning 10 out of 10. Then we also have Indonesia. She just radiates Miss Supranational energy and I loved how this gown that she's wearing, although it's sort of simple really in the grand scheme of things, I loved how it blends like sort of seamlessly to her skin. I think that she looked absolutely beautiful as well. Then someone who I actually love this year and I think this woman is going to go very far is Jamaica. This woman is so striking, she is so freaking gorgeous and I absolutely loved the contrast between this white crisp gown that she was wearing and her skin. It was absolutely beautiful. Then we have Japan. I actually thought the detail of her gown was so gorgeous and I definitely think that there's sort of a subtle sophistication about Japan. When it comes to Peru, I was so in love with the texture of her gown. I also thought that the overall look that she was going for was very well curated. The Philippines actually wowed me. I love the cut of this gown. I love the detailing of this gown. This was such a stunning look on a stunning woman. I mean, this burnt orange is a very rare color when it comes to pageantry. And I definitely think that it contrasted so beautifully against her raven hair. Okay, South Africa came out and just gave me everything that I needed. Oh my gosh, not even just the dress. Just this woman is just radiating queen energy from the start to the end. She just came out and gave everything. She left it on the floor. I absolutely love what the Lalela is doing this time around at Miss Supranational. She is 
doing amazing so far and I was so impressed um, not necessarily with the dress although the dress is gorgeous listen the dress is gorgeous but just the way Lalela was stepping on with her posture she was walking up to Shanique doing the pose her hair her makeup her smile everything about her is screaming next Miss Supranational Another woman who I think deserves a few accolades is Trinidad and Tobago. I was very pleasantly surprised by Trinidad and Tobago and I was very pleased with the simplicity with her look as well. I definitely think that Trinidad and Tobago might be someone to watch out for at the competition this year because in my opinion she is the strongest speaker or one of the strongest speakers at the competition this year. Another woman who I absolutely loved was United States. She has such vivacious energy and I definitely think that this particular shade of gold that she was wearing suited her very well. Now I know that there are a lot of nudes and golds on my list but these women just looked stunning and I hope, I hope that we got all of the nudes and golds out of the way at the sashing ceremony so that we can allow some color when it comes to the preliminary competition as well as the finals. I also loved Venezuela's look. Now, I understand we've seen these broken mirror type of dresses for a long time now. I mean, I think that the first time we saw them was like in 2018 or 2019. They've been around, okay? And I feel like a lot of people think that we should retire the broken mirror dress. But still, I thought that Venezuela was absolutely glorious. It's not just about the dress for me, although I do like to focus on the fashion when it comes to sashing ceremonies and stuff like that, when you're not really supposed to judge anything else. But I thought, I thought her whole look was cohesively beautiful and glorious. The last woman who I thought did an absolute great job with her presentation at the sashing ceremony, of course, was Vietnam. Vietnam's women are always styled to perfection and hair and makeup to the gods. She was absolutely beautiful. I love this white dress. She just is radiating queen energy. Um, we'll have to see how she does at the actual competition. But, oh my gosh, she looked so stunning. Vietnam is literally one of the most stunning women at the competition this year. If you watched the sashing ceremony, please let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. Those are just my top 12 from the sashing ceremony. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that those are my top 12 as a whole. I am still struggling Oh, to create my top 24 list. You guys have no idea. Today I tried. I couldn't. My brain short-circuited and I had to go make some rooibos tea. Um, it's a mess, but please let me know who your favorites were for sashing ceremony and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!